this is my proposed uh, prayer. But in the wisdom of the Senate and my colleague leadership, generally we have uh, agreed to amend the prayers. Uh, to amend that prayer to include federal government. Let the federal government and United Nations uh, put their hand together and uh, uh, bring and see way out of the uh, cognia. Then the second prayer is to um, urge the United Nations and all the relevant stakeholders to adopt a two-state uh, approach where everybody will have his own uh, state which he will fully control over without encroachment. Therefore, I shed some light from my own angle, which we, the data we generated from the United Nations uh, Office of Humanitarian and the relevant agencies of the United Nations. Uh, so many number which it may interest you to see. Uh, it is beyond religion. Some people misperceive the motion as a religio religious oriented motion. It is beyond both the church and mocks was born as reported by uh, United Nations, reported almost 18 places of worship has been the affected people worshiping their uh, lords. 22 residential units has been uh, vandalized and uh, damage and 12,660 uh, have been sustained lesser damage. These 22,000, they are completely... where children are or where people are taking covers they are all destroyed 70 industrial facilities over 70 major industrial facilities it was reported it is relief web reported at least that 70 industrial facilities had been destroyed then 49 media houses 49 media houses, you are all press, and almost 65 pressmen was killed, which is against international law. It is against what we knew conventionally in any war. Therefore, that is the reason why we call Nigeria as a nation, a Senate, as a representative of the people to condemn what is going on and to urge the Nigeria and United Nations to act fast because we don't want it to lead world to the sad world war. This is our peer.